month number two. Let's get it. Hey, hello, my name is Jojo and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. So, I can't believe it's time for my second update video already. Like these months are flying by. Like I only have a month and a half left in this semester. That's wild. That's absolutely wild to me. Um, but yeah, October. October was rough. Yeah. And when I say rough, I don't mean like suddenly in October, everything got like super hard or anything. Um, well, no, <laughs> no, it, 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 mm. I think more than anything in October, everything kind of just piled on if that makes sense sense and I I got really overwhelmed for a while um yeah just like schedule wise everything got really overwhelming really quickly um and I don't think I was fully prepared for that uh but I made it work I'm still alive so <laughs> so where do I start I guess I'll start with just like what made my schedule in October so much crazier than I was prepared for. Um, and now that I'm saying that out loud, it actually sounds really like annoying almost because I, I knew it was coming, but like I still wasn't prepared for it for some reason and that blows my mind. Uh, but you know, you live and you learn. So yeah, if you remember from my first update video, um, I had just gone through intake with my first client and then I had my intake with my second client coming up um, and so I started seeing like actually having sessions with my first client like the first week of October and then I started having sessions with my second client two weeks after my first client so around mid-October and like that wasn't like too bad um, I actually really like working with both of my clients so far they're they're both they're both very different but interesting individuals and it's very interesting to reflect on how I am with one client versus another. I, I think I think my approach to them and what they're coming to me with in each of their sessions is very different. I kind of, I, I feel like, almost like I switch hats, right? Like I'm a therapist for both of them, but I, I've come to realize that with one, I'm much more I'm much more <laughs> I'm trying to find the right word to use I, I I would say I'm I'm gentler with one than the other and, and that's not to say that like I'm a hard ass um because I'm really not but it's 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 easier to be more direct with one than the other and I think that's really interesting so yeah I, I just think it's very interesting to reflect on who I am and how I kind of operate differently with each of them um which i think is pretty cool but that was totally off topic i, I don't know why i went on that tangent <laughs> but yeah i started seeing my second client two weeks after i started seeing my first client um and that wasn't too bad and so i currently see both of my clients on the same day um because that's like the day that i have the most availability and it works for them um, and then I had to schedule my first session with my testing volunteer prior to November 1st so I had the very bright not so smart idea to try to have all of my clients on one day of the week and so when I had to schedule my first session with my testing volunteer I scheduled the session on the same day that I see both of my my therapy clients um and that was <laughs> that was the day that led to my demise <laughs> i i had so my first therapy client is at 8 30 in the morning it's a 45 minute session and i try to be really diligent about doing my psychotherapy notes and my progress notes like right after the session so that i don't forget 
Um, so that usually takes me about 30 minutes to do. So by the time I'm like fully wrapped up with my first session, it's like almost 10 o'clock. Um, and so then I like grab something to eat really quickly, drink some coffee, um, and then I have like maybe like an hour to get like regular work done. Um, and then I have my second client at 12. And again, 45 minute session and then like 30 minutes to do my notes. And so then by the time I'm fully done with like fully wrapped up with that client, it's what like two no i can't do math whoa one one like 1 15 1 30. wow i jumped a whole hour <laughs> uh by the time i'm fully wrapped up with that client uh it's like 1 15 1 30. um on this particular day that i had my testing volunteer i scheduled a three hour testing session <laughs> from two to 5 p.m. So I had like 30 to 45 minutes between my second client and my testing volunteer. And that was the worst possible decision I could ever make because I did not have time to eat. <laughs> I had to go to the testing room and set everything up and then I realized, I, I realized while setting up that I forgot to print out like the intake interview and the consent forms. Um, and so I had to do that really quickly and printing from the computers in the room that like are owned by my school takes so long. It's so annoying. <laughs> then started the testing session, like midway through the session and where we've been going for like an hour and a half at this point, my stomach growled so loud. <laughs> I was so hungry and I was tired and I could see that my testing volunteer was getting tired because it was a really long testing session. It's a really long assessment um, and I was ready to get up out of there. I really was. I, I like by the time we were actually done, my brain was fried and I still had class to go to. I had class at 6 p.m. <laughs> and I was miserable I was miserable that day is what led me to having burnout for like the rest of that week like I I couldn't I couldn't function I so yeah that happened I I just had a week where like nothing got done because I was just so exhausted and so overwhelmed and so like like I just couldn't think like I felt like everything was going in one ear and out the other like even just like talking to people like someone could say something to me and I wouldn't remember not 30 seconds worth of what what they said because it was nothing was sticking in my brain um and so I I gave myself that particular weekend i gave myself the weekend off to kind of like recover because i was like whoa like this is not okay um and so now i'm like working extra hard to be proactive about my self-care um because that that was not okay <laughs> um so i'm still i'm still exhausted i have like this chronic exhaustion uh that i feel but I am working and I'm trying and it's great. <laughs> oh, I also forgot to mention that I started seeing my PM Plus client too. Um, but that was like more like towards the end of the month. Um, but that, that was interesting. Um, it's only been one session so far, but uh, well, when I post this, What am I trying to say? When I post this, I would have had my second session by the time I post this uh, with my PM Plus client. But at, at the time of recording this, it's only been one session. Um, but it was interesting and I'm eager to continue working with them. PM Plus is 
very, very different than the kind of therapy I'm doing with my clients for the training clinic. Um, and so it's very much like I kind of have to like completely switch modes when I'm working with the PM Plus client. Um, I kind of have to not forget everything that I'm learning at the training clinic, but kind of swap it out for or kind of like modify it for what pm plus is and i realized in the first session with the pm plus client that that was very hard for me um but eager to continue and see where it goes um but yeah <laughs> one thing i did learn in october ignoring unnecessary email threads is so great <laughs> or let me let me not let me not say unnecessary because they're not unnecessary email threads i'm ignoring email threads that i know will cause me anxiety um and i didn't used to do that but i've gotten into the habit now of reading like the first couple of emails of a thread and if i notice that there's a lot of like anxiety coming up in me i'll just stop looking at it um until i feel like whatever the issue was <laughs> got resolved um the good thing is that within those first few emails that i do read i'll usually be able to tell whether or not i need to give my input on something and if i don't then i just ignore the thread until everything gets solved and then i look at the solution i'm like okay cool i'm glad we got here you know but the whole back and forth question answer problem possible solution not really a solution another problem new solution that conflicts with the first solution I don't I don't subject myself to any of that um, so needless to say a lot of decisions have been made without my input and I'm just like that's fine I'll make it work <laughs> because the process of getting decisions made in this program is fucking <laughs> stressful it's so stressful and I don't want any parts. I don't want any parts of it. Um, so yeah, ignore email threads if you can. It's great. It's great for your mental. But yeah, other than that, uh, nothing really new to update. My classes are still the same. Actually, at the time of recording this, have just registered for my spring semester. So looking forward to that. Um... I bought a weighted blanket. I love it. It's my new best friend. I literally cannot sleep without it now. Um, by far one of the best investments I've ever made for sleeping. But yeah, other than that, uh, nothing really new to update you on. I've, I've gone out a couple of times with like people from my cohort. But other than that, I live a very boring life so <laughs> that's really it um so yeah thank you for watching this video especially if you made it all the way to the end i truly appreciate it uh leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos family if you're watching this i love you Mwah. and what else do i usually say at the end of this video oh yeah uh <laughs> As always, like, comment, subscribe, and click that little notification button so you don't miss my next upload. And I will see you in my next one.